Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And you know what today is? Today is my new set of picks for the next week, which is week 10 of the NFL season. Now, I do have some bad news. I knew it! I knew it was bad news. Wait a minute. I have an idea. Maybe if you tell me the bad news in a good way, it won't sound so bad. Some very bad news. Last last week, I was six and eight. A very depressing six and eight. You can't handle the truth! Now, I, if you remember, I had a guest on the show, Dave Mazzini. Dave Mazzini was nine and five. So you would think that that would teach me a lesson and that the lesson would be don't have any more guests on. But I'm going against that and I am having a recurring guest that everyone who watches the show habitually might know, and that is Chris Dufour. And Chris Dufour is here today with me to help do my picks. And this is kind of a new trend that I'm going to start trying to have guests on every um, uh, NFL pick video show to help me along with the picks. So welcome, Chris. It's nice to have you back. Always nice to be with you, Bobby. I like the whole habitual watching of the program, but maybe might know who I am. So I don't know if those go hand in hand. I think maybe people just don't know who I am. But it's nice to be here anyway. I'm sorry that Dave Mazzini set the bar so high for me, 9 and 5. I don't know if I can reach that. Yeah, that was that was a really good week by him. So Yeah, yeah that's tremendous. tremendous. You might even I'm say surprised, tremendous. I'm surprised coming from Dave Mazzini. Yeah. So... Um, so anyway, um, that what that six and eight last week does for me is it brings me in seventy-seven and fifty-five on the season, fifty-eight. Yeah, well, fifty-eight point three percent of my picks correct. I was I'm, it's not forty-eight point three. Well, yeah, but I'm trying to get to sixty. And last week I managed to get to sixty for just a brief moment before I went and had a disastrous week last week. So well, you went six and eight, so that's not helpful. No, that is not. I mean, because there are lower, um, lower level primates that could get more than half right. So at least you didn't get bit by the Jets. You almost got bit by the Jets. I did get bit by the Jets. I picked the Jets. Jets? Yes, I picked the Jets. It was my upset special. I gotta start watching this program more. Well, you deserve to be six and eight then. (laughs) Right. I could have been seven and seven. And I mean, the score of the game was thirty to twenty-seven. I know, and it was last second field goal. End of the game field goal, walk off field goal. So, Patriots rallied from like the, they scored the last 10 points. Yeah, man. God. It's you right know, there. you like hate, you hate to get, yeah, you hate to get an upset special wrong that way. I didn't know we were going to do upset special. Well, no, you don't, well, you don't have to. I mean, here's my rules. You don't have to pick an upset special. You don't have to pick a lock. I do that a lot when I have them, but particularly this week, it's notable that I do not have an upset special and I do not have a lock. So. All right. Well, good. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I mean, there's not, there's so much parity, it's hard to have an upset special anyway. I mean, the Jets would certainly qualify, but other than that, I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're going to jump right into this, and we're going to start. We're going to start. We're going to start with the Thursday night game, which is the Colts at the Titans. Yeah. And in this game, I'm going to go with the Titans, even though the Colts have shown that they are a fairly decent team, and the Titans have shown that they can be inconsistent. I'm still going to go with the Titans. Yeah, I think that's a good call. I'll go with the Titans too. I mean, they're home. The Colts have been playing. Uh, tough. Lost a tough game last week, I believe. Uh, so they're obviously a pretty good team, but I like the Titans at home against uh, against them this week. Yeah, and oh, oh, by the way, I forgot to show the helmets on that one. So here's the helmets. Show the helmets. Yeah, show the helmets. <laughs> so we're gonna go. We're gonna go with the Titans right there. So. Bunchy gonna be the guest next week. When are we gonna get Bunchy on? 
I don't know if Bunchy will ever come on, but I have lined up Jim for next week. No way. I yes. Yes. So. I have a sandwich between the Z and James Alkey. I know you're sandwiched right in there. So for, for for the next game, we have the Texans at the Browns. Who do you have in this game? Texans at the Browns. This is a difficult one for me. Uh, even though the records obviously the Texans won last week, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Deshaun. Yes, they did. Was and had a really good game. Uh, and you know they just they they are starting to get their feet under their new coach, right? Uh, but they're still two and six, so it's not dance. But I mean, the funny thing is about the Browns is that they're showing they're talking about inconsistent. They're obviously much better than they, they have been, uh, and so that's something. They're home, I believe, in this game, right? Um, is that the, Cleveland? Yeah, it's exactly. Cleveland. Yeah, exactly. Cleveland. Yes. Yeah, so it's hard to pick against the Browns at home, I, but I do like the way the Texans are playing. I guess this year, uh, I, I'm going to go with the Browns at home. All right. I and this, yeah. you know what? That's what I'm doing, too. I'm going with the Browns. Take the Browns at home. They uh, they definitely, like you said, they have been inconsistent, but the uh, Texans just really have shown – uh, their their glimpses of greatness have been few and far between. So yeah, but they're on a roll. I think I think they played really well last week. So I mean, I think both the first two games we discussed are going to be pretty pretty good games. Honestly, yeah, they should be. I'd say both under ten. So uh, all right, that brings us to Washington at Detroit, and in this game. I am going to go with the Detroit Lions. I'm going with the Lions in this one. Washington has not really shown me. I mean, the best game that they played was the first game of the year against the Eagles. And since then, it's all been downhill. So, And this week, they're going to be playing uh, Alex Smith at quarterback. And he hasn't really played consistently at quarterback in well over a year. So... Well, yeah, he had a horrific injury. That's why. Well, I don't. Let's not forget he had one of the most grotesque injuries in football history. Yes. And he's back from that. Yes, he is. We should probably just give him a tip of the cap for making it back instead of saying he's been wildly consistent. Please. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know. Mm-hmm. But you know what's interesting about this game, Bobby? What? Second place Washington football team, two and six. Second place. Right. And last place, Detroit, three and five. That's, I mean, talk about the NFC East showing up, right? Oh, the yeah. colors are horrible, you know? I know. Anybody can win that division now. Anybody. No, anybody. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, if you're, you can never count out Washington Dallas or the Giants right now because they're all playing for something. They were, you know, yeah. only one team for that division is going to make the playoffs. Right. So every game they play is critical. Yeah. And any team's alive. Yeah. So it's incredible, but I, I, will, I think I'll go with the Lions too because I'm. I think Matthew Stafford's going to play. He played last week. He played well, and uh, they're home on the turf. And if they, I just can't see them underestimating the Washington football team at this point. I mean, they're not, the Lions are in last place, so you really shouldn't be underestimating anybody. Right, that's true. All right, so we're going now to the uh, divisional game, which is the Buccaneers at the Panthers. Now, if you recall last week, the Buccaneers got their butts handed to them by the New Orleans Saints in the biggest way. So who do you have in this game coming off an embarrassing loss and playing the Panthers? Yeah, I mean, this would be an interesting um, matchup. And, I, I mean, obviously, there's going to be two schools of thought. There's the, there's the immediate day-after reaction, which I love from sports writers and sports commentators. The Brady ship is sinking. The Brady ship is sinking. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come on. Right. They're 6 and 3. Did, I mean, without Brady, do you think they'd be 6 and 3? It's, it's ridiculous, right? Right, right. But at the same point, it was an embarrassing loss, right? So they obviously didn't play very well. No. So, if, but if I know Tom Brady as a leader, which of course I don't actually know Tom Brady, but I've followed him for 20 years, 
I mean, I think the coaching staff and Brady are going to have those guys revved up and, and back ready to play. Yeah. Now, Carolina's a pretty good team. I mean, you can't really underestimate Teddy Bridgewater. He's played fairly well. Yes, he has. He's back. So this isn't going to be a walk in the park. No. But uh, I think I'm going to take Tampa to rebound for sure. Uh, even though they're on the road. Right. And that is exactly where I'm going to. I'm going to take the Buccaneers and Brady to beat the uh, Panthers. But as you say, it should be a good game. I think it'll be a really good game, but I'm going to, I'm still going with the Bucks. Yeah, I'd be, I'd just, I would be surprised if the Bucks lose two in a row. Maybe, maybe if they lose a close one here. But I don't, it's not going to be a blowoff for Carolina. I'm going to take the Bucks. And now... Speaking of the NFC least, we have another NFC least matchup, and that is going to be the Eagles at the Giants. Yeah. Yeah. So, Interesting. Who, yeah, who do you have in that one? <laughs> this is, this, I've been thinking about this. I was thinking about this a little bit uh, for a while, and I, I'm going to, man, I'm going to, I'm going to take the Giants. Yeah, well, that's exactly what I'm doing, too. I'm taking the Giants, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. The Eagles are coming out to buy, if I'm not mistaken, right? Um, they might be, yeah. I don't remember picking and them I last think week. Sanders is coming back, so, I mean, they're getting him back. But, I mean, I don't know. I think the Giants I, I think the Giants are pretty close to being a good team. And I like the Jets, who are just horrific, right? Right. I think the Giants are fairly close to, to, to being a pretty good team. Yeah, they, I think this could be a stand for them. The Giants are competitive even in a lot of games that they end up losing. So Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think I think I think the Giants are gonna rise up. We'll see. Maybe I think their defense is gonna play really well against the Eagles this week. Yep. That's what I got. So now the next one I think is a no brainer. But, um, you know, you can correct me if I'm wrong. And that is the Jaguars at the Packers. And in this one, I am definitely going all in on the Packers winning this game. Let me tell you a story. Okay. Uh, boy, I, wanna, I don't know what, how many years ago this was, but I went out. It was December 19th. Uh, it was my friend Mike Polakoff's birthday. Remember, Mike? He was in my wedding party. Yes, I do remember. He's a White Sox fan, right? Big White Sox fan, uh, Big White Sox fan, and uh, he lives in Chicago, so we drove up to, we'd never been to a game at Lambeau, so I flew in for his birthday, we drove up to Lambeau for Jacksonville at the Packers, now Favre was still a quarterback in the Packers at that point, and we all thought, uh, yeah, Packers, Packers, man, the Jaguars went in there and whipped their butts, I think it was 28-13, if I remember correctly, hmm. uh, so I don't know, I mean, the Packers are playing pretty well. Yeah, but the, the Jaguars put up a fight last week, did they not? Am I mistaken about that? The, ja play? the Jaguars did, yes, they did. They came very close. They scored a, a last-minute touchdown, and then they needed a two-point conversion, and they didn't get the two-point. They the two-point, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, you're right. I mean, the Packers are home, so it's hard to pick against the Packers at home against Jacksonville. Right. Uh, so you're right. I'll, I'll probably go beat that. All right. All right. So let's see. Well, Mark, this is scary me because you're very bad at picks now, and we're almost picking everything. So. I know. We are. Actually, we are. We haven't deviated yet. So, yeah, that, that's got to be scary for you. But, a good size for me. But how about this game? This is a game where you potentially could deviate from me <laughs> on this one. This is the Bills at the Cardinals. And, oh, yeah, I like yeah. this game a lot. Yeah, yeah like this is this is two very exciting teams, up and coming teams, even maybe already there. And in this particular game, I'm going to go with the Cardinals. I think the Cardinals can win this game, uh, but the Bills, they are a young, exciting team, and you know you never know. But I'm going to go with the Cardinals on that. Yeah, no, I am too. I am too. I thought a lot about it. I think the Cardinals lost the game they shouldn't have lost last week. Am I mistaken in that? I. Actually, I don't remember what the score of that game was. Or, or yeah, I think, uh, let me, yeah, I, wanna, I think I was, I, I was surprised they lost. I remember that. Uh, yeah. And uh, so now they're going home against the Bills team that is super high, right? Because they just crushed the Seahawks. Well, maybe being by 10, right? Uh, yeah, the Cardinals actually yeah, lost. Arizona lost to the Dolphins. Yes, right? they did. They lost At to the home, Dolphins 34-31. Yeah, yeah, so I was really, I mean, I know, I, no, I 
best for the Dolphins because I know they're a pretty good, decent team, but I did not think they'd go in Arizona and beat Arizona. So I'm definitely taking Arizona here. I do not think they're going to lose two in a row at home to an AFC East team. And I know the Bills are hot, and I think that's probably going to go against them because they have to travel across the country after a big win at home against Seattle. Right. So I'm, I'm going to take the Cardinals. All right. All right. So. That brings us to our next game, mentioning the Dolphins. We have the Chargers at the Dolphins. And, of course, the Chargers now, they have Herbert at quarterback, and he has proven, I mean, he just stepped right off the college gridiron and into the NFL, and he has been amazing. But so has Tua. And so this is going to be uh, this is another exciting, I think this is going to be another close, exciting game. But I, I got to give the edge, the slight edge here to Miami. I got to go with Miami. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. I, I, I mean, I don't know. But maybe, the, maybe the judges have something in store for Tua that we don't know. And I mean, you're right. They're both uh, he, he, obviously Hebert's uh, played a few more games than Tua at this point, so he might have a little more consistency. But the Dolphins are pretty good. Like we, I mean, they just, we just said they beat Arizona, right? They yeah, yeah, to beat they Arizona. are. So it's not like they're gonna lay down for the Chargers. I hope at home, kind of uh, maybe, but I'm definitely gonna call Miami. Yeah. All right, so that brings us to the next game, and I—I I mean, boring for anyone listening. I know because we're both we're agreeing all the way, and this is another game where I think we're both probably going to agree. And this is the Broncos at the Raiders. The Raiders, yeah. as as um, Chris Berman would say. So, who you got in this one? <laughs> well, you know, I'm a big Denver fan. Yes, I do know that. So it's hard to be against the Broncos. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, I think the Raiders are a better team. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's hard. I, would, I, would, I mean, Denver just lost in Atlanta. They didn't, they're not exactly. I mean, they had a great second half comeback against the Falcons. So if they ride that, maybe. But I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it, I think it would be hard for the Broncos to go into Las Vegas and win this game. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm definitely going Raiders on this one. Um, the the Broncos. I mean, I don't even know who their quarterback is. So. Oh, he came back. He's oh, he's back. All right. Well. Yeah, he had a big week last week, but they still lost. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I uh, yeah, even knowing that Locke is back, I'm still going to stick with my Raiders pick. Um, I'm going to go with Denver just because I love them, and you know we need right. one game different. So I'll take it on the chin, and I'll go with Denver. Maybe they'll maybe they'll surprise me. All right. They could do it. They could do it. I mean, you don't want your fortunes totally tied to me, anyway. So. <laughs> no, and if I'm going to deviate, why not deviate with my favorite team? Right. Exactly. All right. I'm next. Not the Patriots. Next game we yeah. Next game we have is the Seahawks at the Rams. Yeah. And yeah, this is another this is another potentially good game, but in this one, I'm going to go with the Rams. Even though the Seahawks have a really high-powered, high-octane offense, they also have a terrible defense. I think the Rams are more balanced, and so I'm going to go with the Rams in this one. Yeah, I'm going to disagree with you. I don't think the Rams keep the Seahawks defense is that bad. Uh, the interesting thing about this is Seattle had to go to Buffalo and lose. Now they have to fly back across the country and play the Rams. Uh, I mean, they're back on their own coach, which is nice, but still, that's a, that's a journey. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I love Russell Wilson, and, I, and again, it's gonna, to me, it comes down to leadership with Carol and Wilson, and I said, I'm going to pick Seattle. All right. We got a Seattle, so there you go. You're, you're, you're different with me on two games so far. Nice. That's right. Two late West Coast games. Yes. <laughs> the next one we've got is the Bengals at the Steelers. Now, I have, I've, I've been pummeled all year long by picking against the Steelers, so I'm definitely not going to do it here, even though Joe Burrow seems to be getting better and better every week that he plays. But I'm still gonna. I gotta. I've gotta stick with the Steelers here, and uh, the undefeated Steelers, no less. So you got to figure they're gonna lose someday. But I don't think this is gonna be the day. I don't know. Uh, you're right about Burrow. And by the way, I want to compliment you on your you mentioned some players' names this year. That's fantastic. Okay, well, thanks. I'm really, really excited to see that. <laughs> right. I mean. But if I don't, I wanted to say, is it, am I not mistaken that Russell, Russell, 
Ben's big Ross. Ben's, I can't. Roethlisberger, isn't he on the COVID-19 list this week? Oh, I don't know. I didn't see that. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure. Is he? Uh, yeah, so I don't know. If that, that doesn't mean he's out, necessarily. No, not That's necessarily. Uh, they're optimistic he's going to play against the Bengals. So we'll see. Uh, but if... if uh, yeah, so yeah, they have four players on the COVID nineteen list as of Tuesday, which I mean, that's somewhat dicey. Is yeah, this game at, at, in Pittsburgh, though, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah, it is hard to pick the Bengals, but I kind of like the Bengals a little bit. But uh, like you said, Pittsburgh's gonna lose, so uh, at some point, I'll take the Bengals. All right, you're going Bengals now. You just now you just completely got off the road. Uh, <laughs> Right, you got four games in a row, or three games in a row, where you're not picking the same team as I did. So, but I think we're gonna. I think we can both agree on this one, and that's going to be the 49ers at the Saints. I am definitely going with the Saints in this one. They. I mean, the Niners don't have a prayer, do they? No, I don't think so. And and the and the um, the Saints just got done thrashing the Buccaneers and, you know, basically announcing to everybody, hey, you need to start talking about us because we're in this conversation. And, uh, yeah, the 49ers. Yeah, I mean, that was a dominant performance. I, I don't like to get carried away with one performance in the middle of the season, but uh, they're good. And San Francisco's not, and that's enough for me. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, San Francisco doesn't have Kittle. They don't have Garoppolo. I mean, I don't right. know how you go into New Orleans and win without those two players. I mean, we'll see. Maybe they will. Right. And now we've got another, we've got an, an AFC matchup that in the past, in the old days, this would have been an AFC playoff game, but probably not so much. Now we have the uh, Ravens at the Patriots. And uh, in this one, I am going to go with the Ravens to beat the Patriots. Yeah, I mean, I am too. All right. I mean, listen, here's the thing about Cam Newton. People are all excited when the Patriots signed Cam Newton and, thought, and they thought he, there was going to be a resurgence there and it looked like it the first two weeks. But to me, the good defenses can shut down Cam Newton. And the problem for Bill Belichick this year is if they shut down Cam Newton, there's nobody else to pick up the slack. Right. Edelman's out. They don't have any big playmakers. Uh, you know, they had a great game out of one of their, their second-year receivers uh, Monday night in that game. Gosh, I wish I could remember his name now, but uh, it was a great performance. But uh, he had like 11 catches for 139 yards or something. But uh, listen, I don't think I don't I don't. I don't see the Patriots being able to win this game. I think the I think the Ravens have a, a, a enough of a defense to neutralize Newton, and, and if Newton's forced to pass to win, if they shut him, you know, he's going to throw three picks. Right, right. And gonna, the Patriots going to lose. So that's that's where I'm headed with that. All right. So we agree on that game. And that leaves the Monday night game, which is a game that's going to be near and dear to my heart. The, right. the Vikings at the Bears on Monday night. I'm going to let you go first on this one. Yeah, I'm going with the Bears, man. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, now Minnesota's been on a roll. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Uh, and obviously Chicago hasn't. They've been on, it's, I mean, there are two teams going on, on the opposite sides of the track right now. And that could be a problem for me with this pick. But for uh, Chicago's home in this game, Yes, yeah. Prime time at home. I cut on a three game losing streak. Like he's on a two game winning streak. It's a big game. It's a rivalry game. I, I like the Bears to win this. I think, I think the Bears defense shows up big time in this game. Yeah. Now, as I said on my last show, I usually pick against the Bears to set up a two way win situation. But in this case, I'm not going to because I really do think the Bears will beat the Vikings. I mean, they. I think they're. A better team despite their offensive woes. And so I am I have a tendency to say I gotta go with the Bears. Well, that was a boring show. That was <laughs> <laughs> sorry to disappoint everybody. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'll tell you what, that was uh, the three picks that we had different. I'm, I'm thinking I might win one of the three, and you're going with the other two. So I think you got me this week. We'll see. I mean, this sometimes the NFL is unpredictable. I can't wait to see. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, it is. It's hard to pick NFL games. I mean, if you get sixty percent, you're like re- doing great. So. Well, the machine must be Kreskin. I mean, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> All right. So uh, there you got it. You got my picks. You got Chris's picks. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed because it doesn't cost you anything. And share it with your friends. Tell your friends about it. Say, hey, you got to watch this guy and his picks. Just don't watch week nine or you probably won't watch again. But yes. Subscribe. Just yeah. hit the subscribe button. Yeah, just hit the subscribe button and off you go. So. That's it. <laughs> Sportsman Z all the time. If you hit the subscribe button. All the time. Right. So that's but that is going to be it for me. Live from Montgomery Village, Maryland. Bob Zolke signing off.